uh, what are the cash revenue sources in fashion? Uh, so if Maro likes images by a photographer, she may hire him uh, or her uh, to film her wedding, for example, an engagement, a birthday event. Uh, that's additional revenue for fashion photographers. Uh, as you can see, uh, the biggest wedding of the season, probably the next couple of years, the, when Prince uh, married uh, a girl, they choose not a wedding photographer, but they have chosen the uh, fashion photographer to film their wedding. And uh, obviously, if uh, they love your pictures, whether you're filming landscape or fashion, you might get, end up uh, with like a fashion gig uh, uh, also. Uh, photographers can do uh, some more fashion events <coughs> and uh, can do TFP uh, shoots in hope that they, uh, those who like your images and uh, might uh, hire you for a commercial gig. So we all come together for the fashion week and to help each other and a lot of free uh, production uh, take place in order uh, for everybody to build their portfolio better and uh, it's uh, at the end it results in the uh, everybody have amazing portfolios and uh, we can charge commercial folks out of it, uh, who are not part of the industry a uh, proper normal rate and make up for the time that we spend uh, fil filming uh, and uh, doing pictures uh, for our portfolio now uh, as a uh, photographer, I often target real estate agents and brokers to photograph them on a TFP base uh, on the premises here is that uh, they will hire me when they need uh, real estate photography and architectural photography. So uh, I try to often uh, invite the, those guys and uh, when they see that I have professional camera equipment, and I have wide angle lens that translates in the those paid gigs because one thing is to film a model for free another thing is to come and film a building or an apartment that uh, they're about to sell so they understand they have to uh, pay for that and one of way, ways to get that uh, that's through fashion makeup and hair stylists may come to do uh, makeup and hair for the models at the show uh, fashion show and the uh, premises here is that if model likes the uh, to work done they will hire them for the wedding and uh, event uh, makeup and uh, hair styling uh, uh, that is why I try to produce so many bridal and uh, wedding uh, gown productions so they can uh, all have a chance to uh, convert those into the paying gigs uh, models have a chance to earn some uh, cash pl uh, playing gigs if they can uh, meet at the fashion show brand uh, new uh, pro uh, pro photographers who have no portfolio and need to create something uh, for a good looking uh, model. Until photographer builds a reputation they, ha uh, they would have to pay a model to pose for them so a model can have a good chance uh, as a beginner uh, to, uh, charge a beginner photographer and really a good photographer who have commercial clients and budget will pay a model but and if uh, the cash is uh, they are a, a scrap for cash otherwise those good uh, good photographers can always find models who would be willing to pose for free so the beginner photographers uh, at the fashion shows are the uh, a good uh, source of income for the uh, for some models uh, fashion show on production could be a uh, part of the venue, uh, like hotels and pr uh, produce uh, the show to entertain uh, their guests. Otherwise, it's self-funded uh, or sponsors. Uh, sponsors have a few interests. They can care of for a wide uh, write-off on their taxes and fund it uh, just because they like it or who they like uh, in it. Uh, they might just like someone in the production and they just fund it for their sake. Uh, sponsors who usually care for in the conversation uh, conversion rate from exposure to the event so they care how how that uh, million views convert into how many units of product they sold how many additional orders they will get out of uh, or for their services if you can uh, show the correlation and uh, numbers that, that might uh, get your sponsors uh, sponsors might want to impress a particular goal or a client uh, of a potential investor, so they would uh, play a part. Uh, great sponsors are liquor firms and large corporations like Coke and, uh, who have budget for branding. Mm, obviously, you need to have substantial following in order to kind of attract that kind of uh, uh, sponsorship. 
uh, government organization, nonprofit organizations like uh, City of New York and nonprofits are great to produce uh, to be approached. Also, because they spend not their own personal money, and uh, uh, so you, you, they're they just need to be properly entertained and uh, cared and uh, follow the guidelines and paperwork, and they might support your event. Uh, hopefully uh, that's been helpful if you have more questions and uh, suggestions I would be grateful if you uh, comment and uh, like her and subscribe to my channel and uh, I would uh, be able to produce uh, a good video for you next time uh, thank you so much